In this video, we're going to discuss counting by weighing. Now, uh, the next, this unit and the next one will uh, all center around a topic known as chemical stoichiometry. So this word stoichiometry, which this is really just anything that has to do with the quantities of materials or compounds that are com com uh, produced or consumed through a chemical reaction, right? So the study of materials, specifically the quantity of materials, the quantity of materials produced or consumed during a reaction, right? So we wanna be able to study, if we have a chemical reaction, we wanna be able to know, okay, if we start with this amount of a particular substance and we know it's going to produce a certain product, can we track how much will be consumed of this, um, of this compound throughout a chemical reaction, throughout that transformation, right? That's the study of stoichiometry. Now, before we start studying stoichiometry in any explicit way, we have to really understand the concept of atomic masses. And before we understand that, it's really centered around this idea of being able to count things by weighing them. And so in order to give us a good working uh, understanding of this concept of counting by weighing, I want to do it using an example. So the question that I have here says you work at a bulk food market and a customer is requesting to buy 800 almonds, right? You could sit and count out all of those almonds one by one and pick them out by hand until you reach 800. However, you would quickly realize that that's a very inefficient way to do this. So how else can you fulfill the customer's order without having to pick out the almonds one by one? Well, the first thing you might want to do is look at what's a, look at the back of the almond bag and see what's a serving. And if you look at the back of an almond bag, you would see that about 23 almonds is your typical serving size. And that that's about 14 grams. Right. So 14 grams is 23 almonds. Right. So uh, this basically sets you up with a conversion factor. Right. So we can kind of use what we learned from dimensional analysis. If you know that 14 grams. Is 23 almonds. Right. Then that means that you have about 0.61 grams per almond. Right. Like I said, this gives you a conversion factor. Right. You can think about this as, you know, 12 inches in a foot type of thing. Right. So this is you get you have point six one grams per almond. And now that you've set up this conversion factor, you can basically think of this as a conversion problem. Right. So if the customer is asking for 800 almonds. You basically want to know what how much does 800 almonds weigh? Right, so 800 times 0 0.61 grams for every one almond. Right, so basically you would do this multiplication. Your units cancel out here, right? So this almonds cancels out with the one in the denominator of our conversion factor. And so once you do the multiplication, you get about 488 grams as the weight of 800 almonds. So now instead of having to pick out one by one 800 almonds out of the bag and serving them to your customer, all you have to do is just get a huge bag, pour out almonds until the scale reads 488 and you know you've got approximately 800 almonds, right? So this is the idea, the concept behind counting by weighing, right? now. How, how does this relate to chemistry? Well, we basically employ this exact same type of logic when we're thinking about atoms, right? Atoms are really, really small things that we can't 
uh, pick out one by one in order to see how many atoms are in a, a sample of, of water, for example, right? So basically we have to use these atomic masses in order to get the average mass of a particular atom or molecule and then use that in order to uh, convert from our macroscopic sample, which might be like, you know, five grams of water, right? And convert that to how many atoms we have of water, right? So, but we have to have the average weight of a water molecule, which is gonna require the average weight of oxygen, the average weight of hydrogen, right? Just like we figured out the average weight of each almond, right? That's the same idea behind atomic masses is that you want to figure out the average weight of each individual atom. That way you have this bridge between the macroscopic sample, which might be in grams, right? Versus how many atoms are involved in that sample. So this idea of counting by weighing, as we start to talk about atomic masses, keep this idea of counting by weighing in your mind.